Okay, this, this is a 3D photo, photogrammetric scan of a uh, mannequin uh, that I did in my living room. Uh, this one's much bigger than those dolls. It's a full-sized, uh, something like a 5 foot 10 mannequin. Uh, that's, that really is a Luan, for Luana's uh, uh, boutique whenever she decides to open it. But uh, this, this mannequin is animated. And uh, th I, I have two of them, and they can be in stores, and they can move. Like uh, the other one has two two arms that are actually bionic; they can actually move. So you can dress the mannequin in different dresses and things like that, and then it can just make like little movements to attract clients' attention, and uh, you know, be something new at a boutique store or a uh, clothing store. And uh, it actually works. Uh, I have two of them. This one right here just turns the waist right now, but I have the two arms that I'm that I've finished and I'm going to put them on and the other one is uh, has a, an arm and a leg uh, already uh, made and so these will these mannequins will just slight make slight movements during the day just a little bit just to, to whenever they detect the presence of a client so that's that's my uh, one of my projects that I'm working on and I made a lot of progress on it um, so now I'm going to zoom in and show you this you, you have to go through the mess again here 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 is the mannequin okay uh, this one I took about 500 photos, 600 photos to, to get this resolution. Of course the mannequin just stands still so, so I, I got a much clearer picture than, than let's say the, the model that I showed you, the, the live model, Faith. But my 3D photo booth and my 3D uh, full body scanner is going to be able to at least get it closer to this um, because, it, it, because it's a, a robot that takes the pictures much quicker and it uses multiple cameras instead of one. Right now I only have one camera that I can do this with. Um, you need, I, I, in order to do this with a live person you need at least three, maybe four, four cameras. Uh, I could do it with uh, Raspberry Pi cameras but the problem with the Raspberry Pi cameras are the lenses. I've seen the reconstructions with those and they do not come anywhere close to this. I mean, look, I can get the hairs here, I got the mouth, the eyes, I can even get the eyelashes. And this is all three-dimensional. So you can actually 3D print this uh, model. You know, I, I can edit out all the other garbage uh, using a program called, uh, uh, let me see, Mesh Lab. And it, that allows me to edit out all the external stuff. Um, or you can also surround, if I had a studio, I would be able to just use like a green screen all the way around her. Or blue screen or even a, a dark screen so that I wouldn't have all this garbage like my my living room which is really a work area I don't have, really have a living room <laughs> my living room is the is the lab is the work area but uh, but th but this actually pr worked pretty good uh, uh, I missed a little bit on the legs my skin I, I should have done this maybe in four levels instead of three um, so that's why I missed some detail down here in the legs but where, wherever it got it, it, it it actually got her very good this was a really good scan. And of course it gets 3D of everything else, except what you really want. <laughs> but uh, you could 3D, I could 3D print this. You can see right here in the waist, that's, that, that she turns back and forth. That, and that's uh, uh, using the, uh, ro you know, I've animated this. And these arms right here, I'm going to be uh, replaced with animated arms. I have already finished the arms and I'm going to just be putting them in and attaching them to these lazy Susans that I put in at her shoulder. So this, this model is going to be able to move around and like with a dress or whatever and surprise customers, uh, you know, to, to hopefully buy the, uh, the outfit she's wearing, you know, to get their attention. So that's what it's for. But uh, yeah, th this, this one worked really good. Um, I mean, you know, I missed a little bit on the, the bottom, but uh, my full 3D body skin, and again, I did this one manually. Well, actually, no, I, yeah, I did this one manually. Uh, but, uh, I, but the ones that I showed you that I got really good results were using my robot, my, my, my uh, 3D video uh, slider robot. Uh, 